Today in music history, welcome back. The year is 1989, and here's what happened. In the final year of the 1980s, the MTV generation grows up and shoves new wave, pop, R&B, and hair metal to the side in favor of grunge, alt rock, punk rock, and British pop. R.E.M. blazes the alt-rock trail and kicks open the door that lets in Pearl Jam, Jane's Addiction, Stone Temple Pilots, and so many more. January 1989, the year kicks off with the inauguration of the 41st President of the United States, George H.W. Bush. In June, the world watched as the student-led demonstrations in Tiananmen Square hits a fever pitch. Hundreds of students are massacred in their quest for a more just and democratic way of life in Beijing. And by November, the Berlin Wall comes down, paving the way for Germany's reunification. Music on film in 1989. The Fabulous Baker Boys starring Michelle Pfeiffer. The Little Mermaid and Great Balls of Fire starring Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid is here. Grammy Award winners at the 31st annual Grammy Award ceremony were George Michael's Faith wins Album of the Year, Bobby McFerrin's Don't Worry Be Happy takes home Song of the Year, and Best New Artist was Tracy Chapman. And born in 1989, singer-songwriter Chris Brown, popular brother Joe Jonas, and America's country pop superstar and Pennsylvania native Taylor Allison Swift. That's it for 1989. Now, we want to make a note here. This edition of Today in Music History was requested by Patty Holstrom of Brush Creek, Idaho. Brush Creek, Idaho. Hey, thanks for writing to us, Patty. That was a really good suggestion. 1989 was a good year. Um, I want to give a shout out to all our new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing and thanks for watching Today in Music History. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let us know in the comments below the year you want to hear reviewed. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time on Today in Music History.